Coach, first time out, what did you like and maybe some areas that you really know that you need to improve on? Well, I, I, I actually was, I was, I was pleased for the most part. I thought the, uh, they competed, they all played hard. Um, you know, they, they ran our stuff for the most part. Um, you know, and, and, and they also improvised a little bit in, in positive ways, not just trying to do their own thing, but improvising in ways that um, produce good scoring opportunities. So I, I, was, I was happy. Rebounding-wise, offensive rebounding, I saw a couple of, uh, I mean, things that made me go, hey, that's pretty nice stuff because you had a couple of young kids that came out and rebounded for you well. Yeah, it's <laughs> with the, an intra-squad scrimmage is a double-edged sword. So you, you go in and you they, they crash the boards and they get offensive rebounds and you're, you're happy. And then you know, on the flip side of things, you're saying box them out. You know, don't let them get those boards. We need to get those defensive rebounds. So um, I, the effort we, we've been emphasizing, and I talked about, before the game, we emphasize um, this year we need more possessions, and the way to do that is go get us some more some rebounds. Um, so I was I was happy that guys made a concentrated effort to get on the offensive glass. I was not as excited about our effort on the defensive end with uh, boxing out on the defensive end. So especially when uh, you know we're about to go play a you know big Division One team, and you know they're going to be crashing the board, so we got to. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's it's it's. I was pleased with it, um, but it can it could be a little better. I, I got to talk a little bit about Alexander, and you had mentioned in the pregame that him moving out to the wing, he just seemed so much more comfortable. And I asked him about that, and he said, "You know what I do because I haven't played post and since I was you know. Of course, he played last year, yeah. but." It, he just seemed like that's where he fitted. And I said it's kind of like the domino effect where you get the players you need and it eventually comes down to you. Talk about his play tonight. Exactly right. And then he did, I guess, pretty much exactly what I thought he would do. He was solid in all facets, uh, played defense, led. Um, you know, he, his shot was particularly on tonight. I don't want him to settle for that because he is a big body and he can attack the rim. Um, but, I mean, he's he, we called him our rock last year on a young, inexperienced, uh, maybe not so talented team last year. He was the one steady figure. And then this year, he, he's only gotten, he's only worked on his game more and more. He's gotten bigger. He's gotten better. And, um, you know, now he's got some other pieces to work with around him. And one of them you mentioned is is now we have some size. We don't have to stick him down low. We can we can actually move him around. We have a couple guys where we can move them around and put them on the low post or put them on the outside or put them in the high post according to who's guarding them. Uh, so I, I, I was pleased, but it's not like I was shocked. I, he's, he's the type of guy that um, we're going to expect that consistent play out of all year. Are you going to have enough – basketballs to go around when it comes to your guard play because you got a lot of guys that can handle the basketball and it seems like you got a lot of guys can now shoot the basketball is that going to be an issue with that kind of depth well it, if it is an issue it's an issue I didn't have last year that I'm excited to have this year um, we didn't have much depth at all so um, I don't know if it's an issue or not I, I talk to these guys all the time I have 200 minutes to give out and they have to earn them and once they get them um, they have to keep them you know so uh if it is an issue, um, it's a good issue, and, and I'm okay with it. All right, you mentioned Friday night already, and now the you had the lights tonight. You had more of a game feel, but that's a little different animal. You experienced it last year at Evansville. Talk about what that means for those players to walk out there against a Division One team. Well, I can tell you already, they're, half of them are going to be deers and headlights, and those are the freshmen. Those are the guys that... Um, it's, they're going to be in a real uniform, not a practice jersey, and playing against Division One players in front of a crowd. It's, it's, um, you know, I'm really interested to see who who responds to it, uh, and, and and who kind of, I guess, uh, like I said, gets a deer in headlights and freaks out a little bit. Um, but the good thing is, is it's only going to prepare us. You know, when you play a team like that, when you play in an arena and environment like that, uh, it's only going to prepare us because we then go and play another. We have another scrimmage a few weeks later, and then um, we have DePaul here. And, uh, you know, having played a, a Division One team, and then we're going to scrimmage a Division Two team, uh, DePaul's pretty good. So it's going to prepare us for, for that game. Um, so it, 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 that's it. I mean, that's the point. If we, if we go out there and, and, you know, we're like Hickory and we go and, and, and shock the world and, and beat them, fantastic. I mean, that's great, and that's always the goal to go out and win. Um, but really, at the end of the day, for, for, for me, for our coaching staff, it's are we getting better? You know, are we doing the things that are going to help prepare us for DePaul on November 24th?